Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we have another very very interesting and challenging question from algebra. Here we are going to evaluate expression x minus 1 whole power 81 minus x minus 2 whole power 81. If x square minus 3x plus 3 equal to 0. So let's get started by writing required expression equal to e first. Now I will take minus 1 common from this bracket or minus common from this bracket. As our power is odd, 81 is odd number, so we will get minus 1 outside. I will write x minus 1 with power 81 minus of, I will write minus 1. Then in the bracket we will get 2 minus x whole power 81. Now minus times minus becomes plus. So we will write expression E which we are looking for x minus 1 power 81 plus 2 minus x whole power 81. This is the expression which we are going to calculate. Now I will write our quadratic equation x square minus 3x plus 3 equal to 0. Now I will subtract 1 from both the sides. So we can write here minus 1 and this side also we will write minus 1. So our equation will become x square minus 3x 3 minus 1 is 2 equal to negative 1. Now we are going to factorize our LHS. Remember our required expression is x minus 1 whole power 81 plus 2 minus x whole power 81. And our equation is x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to negative 1. Let me write here x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to negative 1. Now I will split minus 3x as minus 2x minus x. Then we have plus 2 and RHS is negative 1. Now from these two terms we can take x common. So x is common in the bracket we need to write x minus 2. From third and fourth term we will take negative 1 common. So in the bracket we will write x minus 2 once again equal to negative 1. Now we will take x minus 2 overall common. So x minus 2 times in other bracket we will write x minus 1 equal to negative 1. Now I will write our required expression E. This was x minus 1 whole power 81 plus 2 minus x whole power 81. So here we have 2 minus x. So I will multiply our equation by negative 1 both sides. So I will write here minus 1 times. Here also we will multiply with negative 1. So that this minus 1 will multiply the terms of this bracket and generate 2 minus x. So I will write 2 minus x times x minus 1 equal to minus 1 times minus 1 will give us plus 1. Now we will consider this is A and this bracket we will call B. So first equation which we can write A times B equal to 1. Let me write here 2 minus x equal to A and x minus 1 equal to b. Our first equation was a times b equal to 1. Now we are going to add these two equations. So plus x and minus x will be over. 2 minus 1 is 1. RHS would be a plus b. So we have two equations. a plus b equal to 1 and ab equal to 
1. Now our target expression is a power 81 plus b power 81. As a is 2 minus x, b is x minus 1. So we have to find out a power 81 plus b power 81 if these two equations are known to us. a times b is 1, a plus b is 1. Now I will write our second equation a plus b equal to 1. And I will consider cubing both sides. So I will put power 3 both sides. Now we have to use a plus b whole cube formula. This is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3 times ab times a plus b. Let's apply this formula to our left hand side. We will write a cube plus b cube plus 3 times ab times a plus b equal to 1 cube is 1. Now a times b is 1. A plus B is also 1. So we can write A cube plus B cube plus 3 times 1 times 1 is 3 equal to 1. Now to find out the value of A cube plus B cube, we need to subtract 3 from both the sides. We will get 1 minus 3. Value will be equal to negative 2. Let me write here A cube plus B cube is negative 2. So I will write a cube plus b cube equal to negative 2. We have to find out power 81. Again we will consider cubing both sides. So I will write here power 3. Again we will use a plus b whole cube formula in LHS. So a cube whole cube will give us a power 9 plus b cube whole cube will give us b power 9 plus 3 times a cube b cube which we can write a b whole cube times a cube plus b cube in the bracket and minus 2 cube is minus 8. Now here we are going to put 1 again a cube plus b cube is negative 2. So I can write a power 9 plus b power 9 plus 3 times 1 cube times minus 2 equal to minus 8 or a power 9 plus b power 9 minus 6 equal to minus 8. Now we have to add 6 to both sides. So plus 6 and minus 6 will be over. We will get the value of a power 9 plus b power 9 minus 8 plus 6 is minus 2. Again we are getting value equal to minus 2. We will consider cubing of this equation once again. So a power 9 plus b power 9 whole cube equal to minus 2 whole cube. We will apply a plus b whole cube formula here but a is a power 9. So we will write here a power 9 whole cube. So I can write a power 27 plus b power 9 whole cube. We will write b power 27 plus 3 times a power 9 times b power 9. So we can write a b whole power 9 times a power 9 plus b power 9 in the bracket equal to minus 2 cube is minus 8. a times b is 1. a power 9 plus b power 9 is minus 2. So we can calculate a power 27 plus b power 27 value from this equation. We will write here 3 times 1 power 9 times minus 2 equal to minus 8. So 1 power 9 is 1, 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. So we will be writing a power 27 plus b power 27 minus 6 equal to minus 8. 
Now we have to add 6 to both sides. So minus 6 and plus 6 will be cancelled out. We will get the value of a power 27 plus b power 27 equal to minus 2. Now we will consider cubing for the very last time. So I will write here a power 27 plus b power 27 equal to minus 2. Let's put power 3 both sides. So we will write power 3 in LHS, power 3 in RHS. Again we have to use a plus b whole cube formula in LHS. So we will write a power 27 whole cube which will give us a power 81 plus b power 27 whole cube b power 81 plus 3 times a power 27 times b power 27 which we can write 3 times ab whole power 27 times a power 27 plus b power 27 equal to negative 8 minus 2 cube is minus 8 a times b is 1, a power 27 plus b power 27 is minus 2. And here we are going to write expression e. So we will write e plus 3 times 1 power 27 times minus 2 equal to minus 8 or e plus 3 times 1 times minus 2 equal to minus 8 or I can write e minus 6 equal to minus 8. Add 6 to both sides we will get expression value e equal to minus 2. So our final answer becomes negative 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.